We're starting a new section today about grid search, which is how we can tune our model for our best results. In this section, we're going to take a look at number one, what does it mean to tune a model? Number two, grid search, just try everything. Number three, tune a linear model to predict house prices. And then number four, tuning an SVM to predict a politician's party based on their voting record. In the first video, we're going to look at what does it mean to tune a model. In this video, we're going to take a look at a deep learning on what's the difference between parameters and hyperparameters, and also what's the difference between a global and a local minima. Firstly, hyperparameters versus parameters. Parameters are learned automatically, so if we have a model that tries to learn linear relationships, parameters are learned from the data, i.e. what's the linear coefficient of different features that allows us to make good predictions. Generally, the model itself comes with a good way to find usable optima. So what this means is it allows us to find a good way to optimal parameters, whether it's a global optimal or local optimal. I'm going to explain that later. Find this optimal from the data, right? So the model is popular or is useful because it gives us a way to optimize the parameters. In linear regression, it's called least squares. In a neural network, it's what you will hear as gradient descent. And there are also other ways of optimizing the parameters. The hyperparameters, on the other hand, cannot be learned with model optimization. So there isn't like a way to optimize hyperparameters. And the hyperparameters is what we have seen before, where we, let's say in an SVM, looked at different kernels and looked at the different C values or in a random forest when we varied the amount of trees and tree depths, those are the private parameters. There isn't a good way for us to learn this from the data. Us as data scientists have kind of to figure out what are the good combinations of hyperparameters to use. Generally, there are too many options within the hyperparameters for us to globally optimize this, and we're going to hand engineer hyperparameters for our models. Now let's talk about global maximum and local minimums. The idea between global and local is, if you look at this graph here, the global maximum and the global minimum is the minimum and the maximum across the whole black curve, right? Whereas the local minimum and the local maximum in this chart are maximums and minimums relative to their neighbors but aren't the minimums and maximums across the whole graph. So local optima or maxima is something that is maximum or minimum with respect to its neighbors, but not overall. And a global is the overall maximum or minimum. So how does this translate? If you look at the black curve as illustrating the different errors that you're going to get with different hyperparameters, obviously you want to have the global minimum, right? Because you want to minimize the error and you want to get the most minimum error you can get using your model. With some optimization methods, it's very easy for us to find the global minimum. With other optimization methods or other problem types, sometimes the local minimum is all we can do. The problem of local minimum is, as you can see from this graph, a local minimum isn't a global minimum, right? So if you're minimizing error and you think you've minimized error but actually you haven't minimized error globally i.e. there's actually a different minimum that you can achieve in your error rates but your optimization algorithm doesn't allow you to do that so this is a fairly advanced concept but basically hyperparameter searches allow us to go through different parts of this black curve and try to see whether we luck in to the global minimum and not get stuck in the local minimums and that's all there is to it. So we talked about parameters versus hyperparameters, and we talked about global and local minimum. 